here I am in my brand new single player world and I just spent a day and a night in it. I got to get my garden all started and I gotta tell you, it's such a great feeling planting this garden and realizing I'm actually gonna be able to probably eat all of it that's come out of it and not have all of it go to waste. So that's a good feeling. And it was quite an interesting experience my first night on this new world because I did use a new world and then kind of like pasted my area into a new world. So other than this area and then spawn, there aren't any loaded chunks in this world. My map still shows that there are and it still shows that there's people and stuff like that. But that's just um, like when you go to an area in the winter and it stays winter even though it's spring. The map just hasn't updated yet, but if I was to go over to that area, then it would update on the map and the people's bases would disappear. I did get a little bit of Raylus's base over here to the north um, that's still spawned in as part of this world, and that's not a big deal. I mean, I I wanted to be able to have a blank world that I could explore in, and because of that, it's all reverted to pretty wild and see like these bunnies. I haven't seen bunnies in my area in a long time because they've all gotten killed off. They're not breeding up anymore. And also, last night, in when I was in uh, my first night in this world, I got positively swarmed with drifters, which is fine because that's, I mean, that's how the spawn rate is supposed to be. And I'm not splitting the spawn rate between anybody else on the server. So I will be able to get a higher drifter count and better spawns and better chance for gears and stuff. So I'm not terribly mad at that. And also I had a wolf spawn, a, like a whole wolf family, a mama wolf, a data wolf, and a baby wolf all spawned in my area last night. So that was interesting. It's just the whole world is just a little bit more wild than it used to be now that it's, now that it's new. One of the side effects of generating a new world is so this is the only translocator that I have in this area that's loaded up and when I went through the the translocator because or initially this translocator thought it went over to the like the pine forest and over where Martian's base is and everything like that this translocator was originally sent there so when I stepped on it that's where it sent me and there was no corresponding translocator because the world is new and blank and empty. Oh, there's a drifter. Um, so there isn't any corresponding translocators. And so what I ended up having to do is I had to break the translocator that was here and place down an entirely new one. And because of that, it searched for a new exit point. So I'm going to go on ahead and go through this teleporter to see where we end up. And let's see, I think that's, um, what's it called? Bauxite. And that's really exciting because previously I didn't have somewhere to get bauxite that I personally knew of. I'm sure there were people on the server that knew where to get bauxite, but I didn't have any for myself just yet. And so bauxite is one of the ingredients you need to make um, the, uh, the whatchamacallit for, for making steel, the blast furnace bricks. You need bauxite for that. You need powdered bauxite. And so that is pretty exciting. I am going to tunnel up to the surface and kind of have a peek around and see what this area is that we have. Tunneling my way out, I came across this rich bismuth ore, which is cool because I haven't actually gotten very much bismuth on the server yet, or in this uh, playthrough yet. I So I have very few lanterns because a lot of... I haven't really put any focus into making lanterns, but I am getting a lot of bismuth now, so I will be able to have some pretty rainbow bismuth lanterns here in a little bit. So I'm pretty excited about that. And look at that, I was right. Bauxite, that's super exciting. And it's, I mean, it's not a huge biome, but it's a decent sized one, enough for me to get probably what I will ever need. 
So I'm going to continue going to the surface. This must be in a hill or something because I'm already at Y40 and 140 and sea level is at 110. So I'm guessing this is on a pretty tall hill. So, oh, and there we go. Gravel. Lovely. So let's go have a peek at what we've got here. If I can get myself out of here. There we go. Yep, it's a pretty big hill, actually. Let's look at what we have. It's kind of weird to have the layer of dirt on top of the bauxite. It's a not a color, color combination I would have normally chosen. But it's a really beautiful area here. It's too bad it's going to be dark soon. Uh, I don't have a ton of time today to explore it, but I will kind of poke around and I'll bring you guys in if I find anything super interesting or entertaining. So see you in a bit. So I know I said I'd bring you in if I found something interesting. So this isn't, this may not be interesting for you, but I just recently like within last the week, the last week found out that if you right click one of these little stones with your empty hand, you'll pick it up. And that goes for the little ones with the flint in it, as well as the ones with little ore bits in it. If you right click it with an empty hand, you'll pick it right up. It doesn't work on these giant boulders. Um, you have to still break those, but it's a whole lot better to just right click and pick it up than like break. It's a matter of maybe a second or two, but I thought it was cool. I need to find my translocator. Well, don't be like me and just walk away from your translocator hole because you're so excited about a new place that you forget to mark it because I just about didn't find this place. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that before I get lost again and not able to find my way home. And I'm going to make this one red and make the corresponding one back at home red also. And that's how I'm going to differentiate where my translocators go, just so I don't get mixed up. Last, I was doing it where I would name the translocator with the coordinates that it goes to, but that's not quite as... I don't know, speedy and intuitive as I would like, so I'm going to color coordinate them for ease of, like, visual ease and whatnot. Since it's getting dark above ground, I've decided to kind of go on an exploratory mission of this cave here, and let's get these, this armor on so that I don't get murdered while I'm here. And I did change the world policy from drop inventory contents on death to keep inventory contents just because if I have that I will I know I will just explore more because I'm not petrified of losing all of my stuff because it's not I mean getting stuff in this game isn't the easiest for jeez Louise golly sakes that was <laughs> not the way to go guys don't do don't don't be like me um, speaking of drifting and dying, I'm just, I do that. Oh my gosh. There's so many of them. Oh, and, and, um, locusts too. Awesome. We are in a bad place. Oh, dang it. Oh, and that's the saw blade locust. I haven't even encountered that yet in any of my other plays, playthroughs. Uh, no, run. Just kite him. <laughs> kite him until, until you can pick him off. Oh, it jumps. The saw blade jumps. That's horrifying. I am not doing so hot, guys. I just might die right now. Stay away, stay away. See, and this is why I don't do much combat. 
is because I just like lose my head and I'm not very good at it. All right, drifter di dudes, die please. Ooh, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, and, and now we've got more to the mix. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, for my previous video where I was killing the nest of locusts and people were commenting on how calm and collected I was while I was killing that nest of locusts, well, this is what what it's normally like for me. Not not calm or collected or sane or anything like that. Just uh, running like a chicken with my head cut off, trying not to die. <laughs> and... Hopefully succeeding. Oh, the saw blade. They look like scorpions, I think. Oh, 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 oh. Get too close to me. Ah, he jumped. Oh no. Oh no. One more good hit and I'm probably dead. I do not like how hoppy these stupid saw blade dudes are. They they jump at you. I'm not okay with that. That's that's not a not a happy thing. Um did I kill the drifter? Oh, just the saw blade left. Okay. Come on, dude. We got this. Oh, okay. So it makes the sound and then it jumps. Oh, nope, nope. It's not predictable. That's Fantastic. Dang, Nabbit. I was so close, too! I was so close! Okay, so I've got to come back to this place. And, okay, it did work. It kept my stuff. So, let's, um, put this in my hotbar. And some building blocks, maybe? And I want to get back there and hopefully harvest all of those drifters. Because, I mean, that was a bunch of drifters. I want to get my loot from that shiz. So, I am going to make my way back to try and get my stuff and my, the spoils of murder <laughs> from the drifters um, and hope that I don't die again at the, the blade of that saw demon and yeah, let's see if we can make it through this intact. Well, I mean, I guess we've already not made it through intact because we did die. But hopefully this time I will actually go down the stairs instead of being like a moron. Uh, okay, there we go. I think the despawn time is 10 minutes on stuff that falls to the ground. So I think I have enough time to go and get all... Of no, I want him to go down. Is it down? Did that go all the way down? Okay. Where are you, Sawblade? Well, actually, he might have despawned. Did he despawn? Because that would be fan-freaking-tastic if he did. Because I don't... I don't want to deal with him. Granted, if he's around, his, uh... His, uh... Homies are somewhere. Light this place up. I know it's kind of wasteful to spam torches like this. But I want to be able to see. Okay. Well, Mr. Sawblade is gone. But here are all of my drifters. Oh, no. There's more. There are more. Tainted drifters. Oh, and there's more coming. Why? I guess there is completely blank, unexplored caverns surrounding me, so that would explain why. I just... oh man. Guys, is everybody this bad at combat, or is it really just me? Because... <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! Okay, we made it through. Um, we didn't die. I am shaking. I'm... <laughs> ah, adrenaline, I don't know, fear? Combination of the two? Um, yeah, so welcome to a fight with me, and it is not a calm, cool, and collected experience like I tried to be when I was killing those locusts that in that one video. So, oh, yeah, I see the lights over there. That's, that's their home. Great. 
Um, let's not go over there. And let's hope that another saw blade doesn't uh, make its way up here. And thank you, Locust Nest, for determining which direction I will not be going. Because, yeah, I'm not going that way. Let's go this way, where there isn't certain death around the corner. Um, there we go. Torches. Oh. That's the bell. And I'm pretty sure it means bad things. Uh, so, what does the bell monster mean? Does it summon these, these dudes? The corrupts? Yep, I'm gonna die again if I don't get out of here. Okay, that was exhilarating. Not necessarily fun. Huh. Horrifying, certainly. And I will come back at some point, I'm sure. But probably not on camera, because <laughs> uh, I'm enough of a spaz just when I'm the only one watching, let alone an audience. Oh dear. Drifters climb stairs or ladders. Oh, and I'm dead. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a breather. <laughs> Stop shaking. Probably grab some food because I need food. And I will I'll be back. Well, I managed to make it past the the bell. It It is really hard to kill. It takes a lot. Um is there a specific weapon that works better with the bell? Because the sword was just not cutting it. And, <laughs> pardon the pun. So, do you kill it with the pick? Do you kill it with something else? What works on the bell? Because it took a lot to kill it. And in the meantime, all of these dudes here spawned. Thank heavens they spawned down here where they can't actually reach me. So that was a blessing. And um, now I can be calm and collected and just kill these guys like you would the, the fish in a barrel during a, during a storm. So, but a cool thing, the, I got this resonance archive from killing the bell. And I do have an echo chamber, and so it'll be cool to take a listen to that and see what it sounds like. So I'm gonna try and dispatch the rest of these baddies and try and find the dang locust nest that keeps spawning all of this crap. <laughs> so I'm gonna kill these and then continue my cave exploration. Well, I killed all of them, and then I ran into another bell monster. <laughs> I have managed to get one temporal gear from all of this, so stick that in there. And is this the same one that I already have? I already have that one. So it wasn't even that cool of extra loot. So I am going to kind of take a break from the caves for a moment and have a chill. And I'll be back. Well, I've managed to explore all of this cave and all of its branches, and even though I had to fend off the hordes that were created by not just one, but three bell monsters, I have no ruins or anything like that to show for it. I've got a little bit of ores. You can see right now I'm collecting some tin. I found some bismuth. And then there's quite a few veins of copper visible that I can see that I'm gonna go mine out. But, I mean, all in all, I expected a little bit more loot considering what I had to go through down here. But, uh, it's actually, it was actually, oh, good grief. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to yell at the camera. <laughs> or the microphone, I suppose. Um, anyway, all in all, it's, um... I mean, it was a lot of fun. I enjoy getting to experience the more adventure, combat side of the game. Um, now that I'm not concerned about... There's something growling. Um, concerned about dying and losing all of my stuff because this whole adventure with as many times, of times as I have died um, in these caves would not have been nearly as fun if I would have lost all of my stuff every time. And you know what? These guys, they just uh, keep coming. 
Everything's all lit up, but uh, there's tons of them. Try not to hit the wrong buttons. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish up killing off these dudes wherever on earth they all spawned from. And then I am going to clean up all the copper that's in this cave and then probably never set foot in it again, except for when I use the translocator. And then even then just be in it long enough to get what I need, or long enough to use the translocator and GTFO, because, I don't know, this has been an adventure. <laughs> you just stay down there. Oh, and here, there's one more. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys off, and I'll be back. Well, I made it through the cave. I was able to go through and light everything up, and go through and mine some things. Here is a little bit of what I got. I did get some more, I did get the one temporal gear as well as a couple other resonance archives and this one the seraphs that one's new i haven't i haven't actually gotten that one we're going to take that over and play it on our echo chamber to to see what it sounds like because the echo chamber is a new experience to me and so i want to be able to listen to all of these cool discs here so Is it supposed to be playing? I had to change, turn my volume up for the music a little bit. Um, still kind of quiet, but it sounds really pretty. I'll have to listen to it later. But yeah, um, I got quite a bit of copper, some tin, and some bismuth, some metal parts, and then that temp gear. And yeah, it was overall a pretty successful mission um like i was saying earlier i was a little miffed that there wasn't any ruins or anything in it you know like awesome awesome loot but i actually had a lot of fun it was exhilarating and terrifying and definitely not something i ever would have attempted on the server with uh the drop inventory contents rule on just because I am not good enough to, I'm not good enough at combat to not die all the time if that is, if that is how I'm playing. So I am really, really enjoying getting to be on this single player world. And I think that moving forward, this is going to be a whole lot of fun for me, hopefully a whole lot of fun for you guys. And on that note, I really, really would love it if you would put in the comments what kind of content you'd like to see if you want to see more building you want to see more caving more adventures more discovering and activating translocators just because i want to make sure that i'm recording the right stuff you know instead of recording hours and hours of me um getting murdered in the caves or awful chiseling tutorials or stuff like that you know i want to be able to give you guys the content that you want to see so be sure please 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 to put in the comments what you would like to see more of or what i'm doing well and whatnot and i think i am going to wrap up this episode i think it was a fantastic way to start out this brand new world of mine brand new ish world of mine <laughs> And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. If you really like this one, be sure to leave a like. And if you really loved what went on in it, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.